In part 1, we ask and we automatically extract river cross-section transect profile from a polyline in QGIS. Well, today we're diving into two methods using a powerful GIS toolchain, Saga GIS integrated into QGIS, and a Python script that automatically extracts topographic profile from vector lines. Keep in mind that there are several other approaches available if you're looking for more visual, graphical or even 3D friendly methods. Let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make a video on that topic. So the first thing is to make sure that Saga GIS is installed through the plugin library. So you open it here and you and be sure that this Saga Next Gen provider is well installed. So after that you can go to processing toolbox. It open the processing toolbox and you can run profile from lines. It's a Saga Next Gen Terrain Analysis profile, so profiles from line. Double click on it. And here you can provide two inputs, your DEM and your transect you see here. So here they are called transect 300 meters. So in in the input elevation, I'm gonna choose my detrended DEM. And in the lines input, I will select my transect 300 meters. The name will be based um, by the distance. And here I can save my profiles by clicking on the save to file here a window appear you can you can save your file here and here you can save another profile so i will only create temporary file so i will run this process the result is a table of topographic points that you see here. You can open the attribute table, you see the coordinates and the elevation of each point with the ID line. So if you select it, you zoom it, you see that there is a point along this topographic transect along this river. So you must export um, those profile in a, in a CSV attribute table. So here you select the CSV and you name your file. Pull it and you just save it. Here you can remove the previous layer. And now you just finished the step one of um, this first method. The second part of the method one uh, involves a Python script that will uh, read this CSV, um, filter it, uh, filter all the transects in order to automatically create your topographic profile. First step is to uh, go to my GitHub repo um, to copy and paste on the Python script. So that is this Python script um, that you can copy and paste in your Python console. The first thing is to open your Python console. If the editor is not open, you can open it here. And here you can paste this uh, Python script that will open the CSV file with all um, the points in your profile and will read it to um, dynamically um, select the specific ID line you will see in the example. So I run this script, it opens a window and you can select your CSV file. Here it proposes to um, select a transect, so I will select the, the 75 transects you see here. And I will do OK. And here, a new window will open. 
with the elevation of your profile. You can automatically uh, save this file wherever you want. And if you want to repeat this process, you can run the process. Take your CSV and select another transect here. If you want to um, adjust your your scroll, um, this is here. You can put 20 meter, for example. Here we run it. Select your PSV file, and here will be another topographic transect. So to summarize method one, with just a DM, some transect lines and QGIS with Saga, you can automatically extract topographic profiles, customize the sampling resolution and export clean data tables for further analysis. Now we are going to explore another method, a more advanced and more flexible one, which involves using a Python script directly inside QGIS to dynamically um, process and export the entire set of topographic profiles. The complete Python script is available on my GitHub. So what this script does? This script allows you to loop through your transect lines, sample elevation values from the DM along each line, store results as a CSV file or a QGIS vector layer, and finally plot the topographic profile using matplotlib. This is a great option for GIS analysts, researchers, or anyone who wants to streamline the topographic profile extraction process. So how does this um, Python script work? Um, first step is to define the input parameters. So you have to define your transect name, and the DM name, and the spacing of your sampling points. The second step is to um, load the QGIS layer and you can put your, your inputs or transect here and the DEM name. You define a list uh, for your transect because you want to make it dynamically. So the scripts will um, list all um, the line available for your transect IDs. The third step is to call it, to call those IDs and to um, select it dynamically. So you will see a window that will allow you to um, select one ID, also allows you to uh, select one transect. The fourth step is to create output points layer with all the coordinate attributes. So each profile points will be stored with attributes like um, the ID line, the distance, and the coordinate, the elevation, and the latitude and longitude. So the function QGIS distance area will measure a distance to retrieve the elevation at regular intervals along the line. The step 5 allows us to store values for plotting and CSV exports. The step 6 will process the selected transects and will interpolate all the elevation along the transect you've selected. Before the final step, you uh, will have to save your CLV, CSV file, so the CSV path will, um, will be a load and the final step will um, allow you to plot the profile you've just selected in the um, step 6. So let's see how it works into QGIS. So let's open the Python console. Open the code editor and past this Python script. You can check that your um, transect name are the good ones. So I will use the detrended DM we, we've just um, calculated before, and the spacing will be uh, 5 meters. You can adjust it um, too if you want to. Well, Mm, yes, the resolution of my detrended is at 10 meters, so I will put it at 10 meters. But if you have higher resolution, you can define better um, spacing points. Um, so I will check all of this. This is okay, DM data provider. 
I want to get a list of my okay. Here is um, the dialog that will be opened by the selection of a transect. Uh, you will choose one ID and it will calculate um, the field of your transect automatically without uh, the need to use um, Saga. So the distance, the coordinates. You will choose the, the right CRS for France is uh, the good one. And it will process the selected transect um, that will be um, read into the transect here. Basically, this script will allow you to uh, read the ID. It will give you uh, the ID list. Okay. This is uh, the beginning of um, the, the reading of your transect and it will um, set input points from the beginning. Okay, and here... Um, okay. So, I will run this um, process. Here is the window where I can select a profile, so I will choose a, the 74 topographic profile and I will make it. You can save it. Wherever you want. And you can have your beautiful topographic profile and you can save it automatically. So now we are going to see um, the last method which basically works the same as this one but will export all the transect uh, points to, into one CSV. So you will find the Python script in my GitHub here. So basically it works the same like this one but for all transects so um, you can define um, the input parameters you can load the your QGIS layers so like the previous one you can uh, define the transect lists with the, the name of your topographic profiles like the previous script uh, you create the output points layer um, with um, various attributes, so the ID of the line, the distance um, between the points and the coordinates. You will store all the values for plotting and you process all the transects. So you will get a geometry, the length and the distance um, and you can interpolate all of those points. You will get all the elevation um, values for each profile. Here are all the attributes you will get in a geopackage layer. And here you can set um, the path of uh, the output file. Here is a good way to um, extract all the topographic profiles into a clean and shareable um, data. So let's copy and paste this Python script. I will clean my console and pass this new this new script and I will run this process. Okay, great. So here you see that all the sampling points have been uh, set and here is a new layer. You can open the attribute table and you see that all the points have been uh, extracted with this Python script with the elevation and the coordinates of each point of each transect. So of course, you can export this uh, new layer.
To conclude, across this four-part video, we've just seen how to extract profile with Saga GIS, how to automate it with PyQGIS, how to visualize results in Python with only one script to automatically extract all the topographic profiles, and how to export everything cleanly to a GeoPackage layer. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.